Rudy always say that I'm this new school approach. I just like to view shit from an overall perspective, and then I and I and I change my mind as things go on. But these kids are soft as fuck. And I fucking can't stand it, man, because that's not how I grew up. And I never had a problem with being coached fucking hard because if I'm getting coached hard, I know the coach care about me. He wants me to be good. When that coach stop fucking talking to you, it's a fucking problem. That mean he don't care about you. But when that coach is on you and riding you, when he's on you and riding you, that means he's caring. He wants you to do great. He sees something in you. When he sees something in you, that means he's putting his time. He cares because. He know you can do so much more and go further because he knows he's been around the landscape a long time to see this type of shit. But a lot of these kids and their parents are enablers. Oh, no. no, no, no. Because sometimes, you know, a lot of this shit stems from because their parents wasn't fucking good enough back then. And they felt like they got shafted and they weren't just fucking good enough. So they want to take the blame and bring it to their kids and, and, and say, oh, because my kids getting treated probably how I got treated. No, you fucking sucked. And now you, your kid is fucking good, and you're trying to ride that fucking coattail to another fucking level. But if you don't make your kid tough enough and strong enough for the real world, my fucking word is adapt in life, man. If you can't adapt in fucking life to all the circumstances, you won't go nowhere, man. If you stop your kid from learning how to adapt, then he won't go or she won't go nowhere because this shit's all about adapting and adjusting because nothing's going to be however you fucking thought it was. Nothing in life that goes that way. And these kids in college, man, they are benefiting from this new fucking age. I don't even know how the commissioner and shit let it go just because the college coaches could go different places and things in that nature without being fucking reprimanded about it. They said, oh, we can let everybody else go. I say, if that's okay, once a coach goes somewhere, I'm okay with, with, with kids going to different places. But if they're not going anywhere, you committed to that coach, you should have to wait out a fucking year. I have no problem with that rule, what it was before. You should have to wait out a year because that's what you committed to. You should go there at least for one fucking year and wait out another year before you go to another D1 school because that's what it should be because you should be. There have always been fucking, like, if you have, there always is, when, if you do something and it don't go your way, it's a fucking problem. Like, it's always you have to deal with that shit. You can't just go to the next fucking thing, though. And I don't like how it's, how it's being handled nowadays. This fucking sucks, man. Thank you for watching Come On Now, the podcast. Please be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and ring that bell so you get up-to-the-minute updates when we publish new content. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram at Come On Now Podcast and X and TikTok at Come On Now Pod. Thank you again for supporting this channel.